Welcome to FS17 on the Score Farms map. Today we will be delivering new off-road toys to the dealership. We will be making our way over to the factory here in our brand new 2018 GMC 2500 HDC here with a Duramax. Before we hop on the inside, let's take a quick walk around. I got the terrain package wheels here on a color match bumpers. And we got a bed liner, drop hitch, gooseneck, and then up front, we got color match mirrors along with a Blackdale grill, which makes this truck look awesome. I recently picked this up from the dealership as our second daily driver for this dealership series and the dealership has been very successful we've been selling a lot of off-road toys so today we will be getting new off-road toys being offered and we are picking them up from the factory today and then it we will we'll also be picking up a brand new lifted Chevy 1500 and that will be pretty cool so we'll be delivering all of them over to our dealership which like I've touched upon has been pretty successful and we do need to get more and more inventory now as you guys can see we are here on the inside of this brand new GMC released by machine modding we have a full interior as well I thought that this would be the perfect way to feature this brand new truck it looks so nice with the blacked out wheels and the all train uh, options everything about this is so cool all of the different store options the bed liner it really just looks awesome here especially in dark red we are just passing by giant software which is releasing the brand new fs19 on november 20th so that will be pretty cool hope all of you guys are excited there for the game to be released and we have arrived over here at the factory there are three off-road toys over here one of them is a ram runner so it's built for off-roading which is pretty cool it's from the factory up first we'll be hopping here in the brand new peterbilt 567 day cab we'll uh, put the ramp up we'll uh, get this all unfolded now this does have strobe lights which is going to come in very handy as well for us but take a look at this guys we got two polaris uh 1000s here and then this ram runner this thing looks so so cool so i think we'll get this loaded up first let's hop here on the inside and we'll get this loaded up now i can't wait to offer this this will most likely be a big hit along with the players as well it's a pretty popular uh, truck for off-roading it just looks so nice if you do have any cool ideas here for this series, please let me know down below here in the comments. I really do enjoy doing all these different dealership videos. They are a lot of fun, and you guys are awesome with all of your support and ideas. So that looks pretty good there. It's going to be a tight squeeze there. It's a pretty wide truck, and you definitely do need that for stability when going fast off-road. Next up is these two players, and I will be doing a video in Forza Horizon with one of these later this weekend, so I do recommend you check that out. We'll get this loaded up. Wow, this thing looks awesome. Actually, we'll probably put it right about here. We'll back the ram just a little bit uh, backwards, and we'll hop in this one. I hope all of you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below here in the comments. My day is going good so far, and I hope yours is too. I always do like doing these dealership videos, especially featuring new mods, new uh, trucks, everything like that here in videos. It's a lot of fun to showcase all these new things, and I can't wait for FS19, which is going to be pretty amazing. So we'll get that folded up, and we'll lock the load. We got the load locked down here, so we'll head over, and then we'll come back here, get back in our truck, and then we'll do the second set of delivery, which is that uh, lifted pickup truck. Now, this is one awesome day cab. I really do like it a lot, and it's perfect for today's job. Now, this is an extra long trailer. I did make it a little bit longer, and it's pretty helpful, I will have to say, for doing delivering videos, so we can haul quite a bit of equipment, and uh, in this case, toys. I would like to thank each and every one of you for all of the continued support here on the daily videos. It's a lot of fun to upload every single day, and you guys are the ones that are making it possible. I'm currently working on the mods, including the terrain cut mower and the compact tractors. I do want to get them as released uh, very soon for all of you guys. We'll make a pretty wide turn here, and more than likely it's going to go up there on the sidewalk. It's just way too long of a 
uh, trucking trailer set up, but that's okay here. So once we get over here, I will be putting on our strobe lights. I think that they are definitely necessary when we are walking around the trailer, unstrapping our load and hopping in and out. But before we do that, I want to move a few things around out front because we got to showcase this brand new one as well. So we'll get our hazard lights on and we'll get the strobe lights. We'll get all those, and I just really do like a lot. You guys can see they do look pretty cool. Up next, we'll unlock the trailer and get unloaded. Now, more than likely, the load will try to shift off on us, which is not going to be too helpful. But up first, we'll be hopping here in the 06 F350. It has a 5-inch lift kit on it. It's not too big. We'll just kind of move this out of the way. We want to put that brand new one right out front. That's kind of how... I like to move the inventory around in all of the dealerships we do. Up next, I'm thinking we'll move the Gator. Yeah, we'll move the Gator out uh, front. Actually, we'll probably just yeah we'll bring it around the corner here. And then we'll get unloaded. This dealership is a pretty packed lot, which is nice. But we are selling quite a bit of uh, off-road toys as well. We'll get this one parked up right out front, right on the corner, and that should be perfect. It will uh, draw some attention. This one we'll put probably on the grass on the other side. We'll just keep backing up here, and we could probably actually just fit it in front of one of these towards the back, and there's actually a room right over here. We don't want to be on the sidewalk, but there we go. Wow, that actually fits pretty good there. And the last truck will go over here. Now, this like I've touched on is one awesome truck, and it is pretty cool. Very wide tires, but it looks awesome on the inside. We'll get this back slowly off. Did do a pretty good job doing that. And we actually will have to make more room as well for the brand new lifted truck that we are getting. So what I'm thinking about doing is probably moving this Ford F350. We'll probably move it around probably to the other side. Yeah, we'll do that. That way we have room now. And then we'll go get our truck back because we will be using the new GMC. Even though it's our daily driver, we will be using it to uh, go get our brand new truck as well with our trailer so we'll go do that but wow this has been so far a pretty exciting delivering video and uh, maybe we might come here in our homeowner series to buy an off-road toy let me know down below we might want to do that get a new toy or two so we'll uh, put uh, our lights off and we'll head back over to the factory to pick up our truck we'll start the Peterbilt back up I hope all of you guys are enjoying all of the videos here on the channel. It's been a pretty exciting time. We do have lots more cool things to come, including more games to be featured here on the channel as well, including Construction Simulator 2, Forza Horizon 4, and also, uh, it's going to be pretty exciting, uh, FS19 coming out. Looks like we overdrove the street by one. That's okay. Now you guys can see, extending this trailer was pretty helpful for, uh, transportation of lots of equipment at once but it does make it harder to move around on these uh, narrow roads we take this turn If you haven't already, I do recommend you turn the post notifications on the channel so you guys don't miss a new video and you guys can check out all of our weekly streams on Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a lot of fun to stream live and it's a lot of fun interacting with you guys as well. And I always do like doing that. So drop anything down below in the comments and I will respond back to you. We'll hop back here in the stream. See, this is one amazing truck. I definitely want to feature this in more and more videos. It looks so cool. Uh, we could have got uh, many different things on this truck in Chrome. But I always liked color match. It looks so nice uh, having it color match as well. So we'll turn on the daytime running lights. And we'll head over. We gotta get the trailer from the dealership. Once we do that, though, we'll go get that one. And this first person view is so cool. It's very realistic as well uh, for GMC. And big shout out goes out to Machine Modding on Facebook for releasing this. And shout out to all the different modders for everything they do here in the community, uh, making all these cool mods that I get to feature here in videos. 
and also get to uh, just enjoy on a day-to-day -day basis. Let me know your feedback down below, guys. Do you guys like having the trucks with chrome color matched, or would you guys like uh, them blacked out? Let me know your feedback. It, it would be greatly appreciated. That way, I could do a mixture if some of you guys like the chrome or blacked out, or uh, even uh, color matched. Let me know your feedback. We'll kind of squeeze through here. It's getting a bit tight around our dealership, but that's okay. And the trailer should be back here. Yep, I see it right there. Now, we do have a... A uh, brand new Chevy 4500 service truck here for the dealership as well, which is very nice to have uh, to service all the off-road toys that get broken uh, when you are uh, being harsh on them out there on the trail. So it's nice to have that, and we do respond to quite a lot of them as well. Some of these uh, get pretty damaged, so we'll have to go right over the grass. It's just a tricky area, a little bit further. Close the door. We just got this brand new GMC and we are already putting it to work, which is okay. I really do like the lot and why not uh, put it to work and uh, really go get this new truck. So we'll get it. Once we get it, bring it back, we'll head home. The truck does sit uh, pretty level as well. The shop is coming up here, two hour left, take a look at that guys, it looks to be a very nice looking truck, we did get a few custom things done to it, including suspension, wheels and tires, and a few other things like that, and that looks awesome, so we got this backed in here, now it should fit on this, if not, that might be a little bit a tricky for us, but wow, take a look at that, very wide, now it looks to be a 4 inch lift here on it, with an extra roll bar up top there, wow, this looks pretty cool, and and we did get an exhaust on this, so we'll get this loaded up. Looks like it will fit. Yeah, now uh, we are selling these here at the uh, off road toy dealership because uh, some people probably would not want to daily drive one of these, especially in a town. Uh, it's going to be a bit tricky to kind of drive one of these every single day, and that's kind of why our buyers usually buy them as a second or even third vehicle to have, and that's uh, kind of how our shop is and uh, dealership is and some people do have multiple trucks as well and they could have one big uh, lifted one and a regular one and uh, that's pretty realistic I will have to say our shop wasn't too far from the dealership as well which was pretty cool but take a look at that delivering this new truck and all those toys is a lot of fun I really do enjoy doing all these incorporating more and more of uh, these uh, videos here on the channel with dealerships. I think dealerships is a pretty realistic thing to have on uh, the maps, especially the Square Farms map has so much different things. Now I might have to back up just a little for the ramps. Let's see. Yep, uh, that little trick. And we'll get this unloaded, put it right out front. This is a uh, 2018, so it's a pretty new truck. It uh, has pretty much less than 50 miles on it. And we bought it from the Chevy dealership and brought it right over to the uh, shop to get all of these done. And we'll put it next to the Raptor. That definitely is going to look awesome out front. And there we go, guys. So we were able to deliver everything. Let's head home. And we got to open that garage door. I do like a lot of the buildings on this map. I try to get them with working shops just like this. It's just so cool having it as well. As uh, you could definitely uh, put things on the inside and uh, use them as repair areas. If you do have any cool ideas here for this dealership, please let me know. I definitely want to get more and more off-road toys uh, as a selection so that buyers can definitely uh, buy them. Looks we actually have to back up a little bit more. And I can't wait to maybe, uh, just maybe, let me know down below, should we uh, kind of work at the dealership for a day, sell a few off-road toys, and then possibly repair some. So let me know your feedback down below. Looks like we still do have our hazard lights on. It's a bit tricky to see when all the lights are on, but uh, I really do like this. And we 
over drove the street by one. I'm still, even though I've been playing on this map for a very long time, I still keep kind of uh, going the wrong way, but that's okay. But like I've touched on, guys, machine modding did an amazing job here on this brand new GMC. I really do like it a lot. Works awesome, and I can't wait to add it into more and more of my videos. But that's going to be it here for today's uh, video here, delivering off-road toys and a lifted truck to the dealership. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and subscribe for more. Thank you.